Yo. <clears throat> right, so I finally finished my retaining wall up the front here, so I'm just gonna let you in on all my plans that I've got um, for the future here. <clears throat> so we originally had a, um, this big garden that come out here. It was there when we brought the house and it was just overgrown with big shrubs and trees and you can even you can see the roots everywhere there's just it was an absolute mess so I got a digger in um, cut away the as much as I could and then I've yeah like I said I've just filled in the back of the retaining walls so <clears throat> my next uh, project which will probably be in a couple of days is to take the picket fence out and put a two meter fence up there So we're, so we're not so exposed to the road that's just there. So that'd be great, that'd be level with what's up there already. It'd be really nice and then um, I don't know what to do with this, if I should uh, cut it down or just trim it. It's sort of right in the middle of the section, you know. But um, so once that fence is up, I was, I was originally gonna get some tunnel houses and I still will, but for this year I might just plow some big um, garden beds and put some weed mat down and just grow big rosy chilies there because there's heaps of heaps of room here and um, it's 8 30 in the morning now and that sun's been there for at least an hour and a half so I'm going to grow a lot of chilies and pots just up on the on the retaining wall just line them up all the way along there and then this here gets the whole area gets sun um, throughout the day and right at the end of the day, there's just heaps of sun right here. So, some more garden beds there. So yeah, so I'm in the middle of doing that. And then, essentially, I'd, I'd like a couple of big long tunnel houses here. But, um, yeah, that'll be in the future. But this year, I'll just be growing, yeah, just outside here, in some garden beds. Cool, cheers guys. And I was also asked how I um, sprout my seeds. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of an overview of what I've got here. It's a bit of a mix and match of bits and pieces. But um, so the, the only reason I do it this way is because I wanted to grow so many plants. So there's heaps of different ways like um, people use jiffies or six pack trays um, and you know put the seeds in there. So the first thing, the jiffies, the reason I don't use jiffies is because you know a jiffy is say about that round and if I had 300 um, seeds and 300 jiffies that would take up a table the size of this area here so and that, that, that's just not um that's not going to work so and the other thing is you know like you don't get a hundred percent success rate all the time with your um with the germination so say even if from those 300 90 percent went there's 10 percent jiffies like that that i am tending to and looking after and watering and because sometimes they could take a, a month you know to sprout and i could just be looking after those jiffies when there's absolutely going to be nothing happening so so what i do is i use these little things here fill them up with seed raising mix sprinkle my seeds in there put a bit more on there i'll make sure it's wet first i saturate it and then and then i just um yeah wait for them to sprout in there so basically you might get like 30 little seedlings all come out of there and then let's get a chopstick or whatever, break it up and put them into, into pots. So I'm essentially planting a 100% success rate into my other pots and I'm not sitting around waiting for seeds that might not even grow. So I prefer to doing it that way and it works really well for me. And so although it, and during the winter when I first uh, sprouted my seeds I didn't actually use this unit here all I done was I just had a little heat pad here you can see it in there was an ag pad uh, heat mat and all I done was put that on top of a table out here and I also chuck a couple of magazines just on there because it actually does get a little bit hot and you don't want to dry your soil out too fast so I find um, yeah, a couple of magazines on there. So I just had that, that flat on a table with the magazines, all my little seed trays, and then I just got this and put it upside down on top of it. And that was it. And I just um, made sure it was nice and nice and moist. So I just had my little spray bottle there. I kept, kept spraying the top of the soil. 
So this is essentially like up here, it was on a table and yeah, and they just loved it. But I since um, have had this thing given to me from work, it's like an old filing cabinet or something like that. So I've made the, put a few bits of packing wood in, in there just to make everything level and um, yeah, so the last lot of seeds I've done, I've just done in there. It's even got a little vent there, it's like a bloody perfect little thing. So. It's just got a little door there. And that there it's, um, keeps the heat in there, really nice. So that is about all I had to say. It's blowing a gale here today, but it's still sunny as. So it's, oh, what's the time now? About two o'clock or something. And you can see the sun's gone from my retaining wall now, and that'll be it for the day. But um, it got so much sun in the morning and I can just picture it now, just all plants and pots lined up right along that wall. And then when I do my updates, everything will be about chest height, you know, and I'll be able to get a good look at everything. Yeah, I'm just imagining my big garden beds now out there. <laughs> but yeah, the first thing that's got to go is this bloody um, picket fence and put a big um, fence up there. Just to block the wind, pretty much. Cool, wicked.